Good day, good day my fellow royal fans, today's news. These days it's common knowledge that Meghan Markle is not on the best of terms with her royal in-laws. But for as many facts as we have about the situation, there is still widespread disagreement about which party bears the majority of the blame for the bad blood. In the US, Meghan is more popular than the Windsors. And that's not just because of national pride. The millions who watched Meghan's interview with Oprah came away with the sense that the Duchess of Sussex had been badly mistreated during her time in the UK. We learned from that conversation that Meghan was nearly driven to suicide by the cruelty she faced in London. Among other shocking revelations, Meghan claimed that a member of the royal family expressed concern about the complexion of her unborn child. This person, who Meghan has chosen to protect with anonymity, allegedly worried that Brits would not be accepting of the boy if his skin were too dark. It's no wonder that in the wake of such revelations, Meghan has won the support of most Americans. And now, one prominent American, who has a large following in the UK, is offering a courageous take on the situation that's been applauded internationally. Denis Benton is an actress who received acclaim for her breakthrough role on HBO's The Gilded Age. While she's not a royal herself, she is a woman of colour who played a part on a show that dealt with many of the same issues that Meghan has faced. Denise spoke out about Meghan's situation, noting that the royals were likely ill-equipped to help someone in the Duchess's position feel comfortable. Being the first and only person of colour, you are really set up for an incredible amount of abuse. The system isn't set up to support you, Benton said. And I think that because of the lineage of the really profoundly devastating effects of colonization as it relates to the monarchy, you can't necessarily just pop a black person in. Benton believes that the royals could have made the situation work, but notes that doing so would have required the Queen and company to reflect and humble themselves in ways they never have before. It requires a lot of reckoning, the actress observed. Unless you are ready to do that work, then the person who puts in that position ends up suffering more than the changes they are able to make. Benton notes that while Meghan certainly made strides towards greater diversity and inclusion in institutions like the royal family, this is not a battle that the Duchess can wage on her own. It's going to take much more than one person coming in to trigger all of that change. It doesn't really work, the actress concluded. Thank you guys for watching today's installment. That's all the time we have for today. If you enjoy our content, please don't hesitate to like, comment and subscribe for more. Until tomorrow, goodbye for now.